If you believe you can hear weird noises in your home, you should investigate further. There is a secret room somewhere in a mansion in almost every good mystery or fantasy narrative. Every villain and superhero has a secret lair in which they can hide. Most of us wish we could have hidden compartments or complete rooms in our homes because this concept is so cool. Fortunately, this does not have to be a fantasy for us. Here are some real-life examples of secret rooms discovered by mistake and made on purpose in people's homes. The real-life horror experienced by people who discovered secret rooms hidden behind their walls, many of which revealed traces of recent occupancy, is shown in chilling photographs and recordings. These tales will send shivers down your spine, from bunkers beneath the floorboards to bedroom peepholes. 5. Hidden Chapel This family had lived in their home for a few years when their curiosity got the best of them. The enormous metal grate in their home's floor had never been moved, so they decided it was time to see what was beneath its surface one night. They were astounded to discover an antique stone church with a wooden cross in the center laying on the ground. The owners kept tracing the underground tunnel and discovered that it led out of their cupboard as well. It was most likely utilized as a refuge for religious groups like the Catholics in the 1700s or as a bunker during World War II, according to the family. 4. Singer Castle Many people imagine castles to be densely packed with hidden corridors and rooms, but Singer Castle in New York defies expectations. Back in 1904, this was erected as a hunting lodge for the president of the Singer Sewing Machine Company. It appears to be any other lavish home, save for the fact that it is teeming with hidden rooms and tunnels. A secret panel in the library leads to a secret tunnel, where a host might eavesdrop on their visitors through secret peepholes looking into multiple rooms. It's unclear why this house was built this way, but we can only assume he wanted to know what they were saying as he walked out of the room. Dark Island the ominous-sounding patch of land that bears Singer Castle is only accessible by boat. There are other spectacular houses on private islands along the road, but Singer Castle is the most humble of them all. Early navigators gave the island its name because it appeared dark with its towering granite summit clothed in huge pine trees. Commodore Frederick Gilbert Bourne, the fourth president of the Singer Sewing Manufacturing Company, had the castle built between 1902 and 1904. Ernest Flagg, the renowned architect who created both the Singer and Chrysler buildings in New York City was commissioned. Flagg had just finished reading Sir Walter Scott's Woodstock when he began constructing Singer Castle. The tale depicts a castle that served as a king's hunting lodge. For the monarch, the structure had concealed passageways and secret escape routes. As a result, Singer Castle is teeming with hidden passageways. The Singer Castle is a must-visit attraction. The castle is no longer privately owned and the firm that owns it now rents out one wing for overnight stays. 3. Dunnerton Doug Carlston, the co-founder of a software company, lives in Dunnerton, which seems like a standard log cabin from the outside. It has around 1,700 feet of secret passageways on the inside, which is a separate story. Several visitors have also reported getting lost while trying to find their way around the house. The owner of this home is the designer of various interactive children's games, and his home was designed to reflect his creativity. The home's basement is a maze of catacombs, and moving certain objects around the house will reveal hidden doors. A room of doom, where people are invited to stand on a rocky ledge overlooking a waterfall, is part of the labyrinth-like layout. You can swim through a chute or jump over a waterfall to reach a swimming pool. There are surprises around every corner, and things that you wouldn't expect to happen happen right in front of your eyes. With so many secrets and inventive thoughts dispersed throughout each area, he created an environment that everyone would enjoy as well as fear. 2. Dungeon Beneath an Apartment With Halloween just a few weeks away, one Reddit user spotted just this beneath a bizarre trapdoor in his new studio apartment's foy. The man moved into a new studio apartment that he didn't particularly like, but things got even worse when he discovered a hidden dungeon beneath the property. He examined the unknown place beneath his new pad with a camera in hand and was able to show the Reddit community his collection of intriguing images. It's in an ancient English monastery conversion, dating back to the 19th century, I believe, and today contains about 30 flats. User Dunk7 reveals in their album description on photo hosting website in Gur. I got a wonderful deal on rent and didn't realize how good of a deal I got until I moved in and discovered a region worthy of any film grade exploration. I suppose the prior occupants had a horror movie end. Therefore, don't need to worry about them seeing it on Reddit." Denk7 wrote in a Reddit comment. A user discovered a trap door that leads past some antique artifacts onto a below stairway, 
according to a documentary of their discovery on Ngur. We got a dungeon. They captioned one shot after discovering the hidden area. There's a dungeon here. I couldn't believe my luck at this point, and I was really frightened because it was so unexpected. After discovering a vast room with graffiti inside, Dunk 7 kept the tension high by questioning some unfamiliar items, sacrificial altar. More exploration is needed, the user concluded as he considered his next step in the investigation. However, living above it alone is very scary. According to the owner, the structure was formerly a monastery, and the dungeon beneath his residence is lined with antique bricks and benches. The passages wind beneath the entire apartment complex and happily. It appears that he is the only one who knows how to get into the secret region. He considered throwing a dungeon party, but he was concerned that the airy aspect would drive some of his guests away before the fun could begin. 1. Mont St. Odal Monastery Mont St. Odal Abbey, also known as Hohenberg Abbey, is a nunnery in the French province of Alsace, located on Mont St. Odal, one of the most notable summits of the Vosges mountain range. It was founded in 690 by Dalrich, Duke of Alsace, for his daughter Odal, who served as the abbess at the time. She established a hospice called Niedermunster or Niederhovenberg on the eastern slope of the Mont St. Odal, which later became a home for ladies of nobility until it was destroyed by lightning in 1572. Hovenberg was first inhabited by Benedictine nuns, who were eventually replaced by canonesses in the 11th century. The abbey church was destroyed by fire multiple times before being rebuilt in 1050 and consecrated by Pope Leo IX. When the monastery's discipline began to deteriorate in the first part of the 12th century, Abbess Relimbis of Virgin near Newburg at Erdano, who became Abbess of Hovenberg in around 1140, repaired it. Hovenberg became known for its harsh discipline, as well as the great learning of its nuns under her reign. Harriet of Landsberg succeeded her in 1167, and Hovenberg's reputation grew even more during his reign. In 1178, she founded the Premonstratian Monastery of St. Gorgo on the mountain's crest, and the Augustinian Monastery of Trettenhausen at its base. Hortus de la Chirum, a compilation of short treatises on religion, astronomy, philosophy, and other disciplines of learning, as well as some original Latin poetry with musical accompaniment and some gorgeous pictures, was written by Harriet. The work was destroyed in the 1870s Strasbourg Library plays. The Abbey's production of unicorn images is a notable heritage. Drawings of unicorn hunts were unique to female orders. In 1546, Hovenberg Abbey was destroyed by fire. Some of the nuns returned to their families, while others married and became Protestants. Hovenberg was renovated and taken over by Premonstratians in 1661. It was confiscated by the government during the French Revolution and sold as national property in 1791. In 1853, Bishop Andreas Rass of Strasbourg bought the structures for his diocese. An epic book robbery of over 1,000 rare books from a private secured library put this abbey in France on the map. The thief had acquired a map of secret pathways inside the monastery, but none of the residents were aware of them until the crime. After two years of thieving, they discovered that the bookcase could be swung open to disclose a secret area, where ladders led up to the roof. Because the library used to be a communal place, it was thought that senior monastery monks used this room in secret to catch their brethren in the act of blasphemy. We'll use the comment section below to share your thoughts with us. Hope you enjoyed the show. If so, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Also show us some love by clicking on the like button below and sharing the video with your friends and family. Turn on the notification button to get updates on our new videos. That's all we had for today. Bye, see you next time in the upcoming video.